want to do skids. In this video guys, we are taking a look at fitting a universal hydraulic handbrake like this one, um, so that you can, when you're in two wheel drive, initiate a skid uh, or a drift uh, for turning. Before we get into this, hit the subscribe button uh, and give us a like as well. So let's get stuck into it then, quickly just pulling the transmission tunnel out here, which um, just gives us a bit of access and get to the brake lines and stuff like that. So. Um, and we're just sort of assessing what's going on a bit. You see, I'm trying to get a position, a good position for uh, where to put the, the handbrake. And we kind of realized very early on that right where the grab handle is uh, for the passenger, which is the white thing there sticking up next to the pink gear stick, um, was right where we wanted to put the handbrake. So Ethan's just there working on cutting that off because it's welded to the chassis so we're going to drop it down um, just below where we wanted it to where we want to put the handbrake and now that gives me a good spot there just to put it in it's perfect spot actually it's really comfortable um, position when you sit in the car so here you can see as well the uh, the master cylinder or the slate yeah it's a master cylinder um, the location of the ports what needs to be an in a feed in uh, and what is the feed out to the brakes. So Ethan's just tidying up the cut uh, and then he's gonna get on now with making a bracket. So yeah, Ethan's on here making a bracket for the, the front of the handbrake. The, the rear side there where my hand is, you can see we're just gonna mount it to an existing hole that was there, which is really useful actually. So um, just an L-shaped bracket, a bit of CAD design there. Uh, and that'll let us mount the handbrake really well. So we're just figuring that out now. So using a bit of three mil aluminium uh, to do the job, a bit of sheet. Ethan's made a nice template there out of cardboard that worked really well. Um, So he's just folding up a nice 90 degree angle uh, to match his cardboard template. The good thing about aluminium is it's lightweight and uh, it's all okay. And yeah, it's lightweight and it's just easy to work with as well. So, and, and for something as simple as this, it's just a 90 degree bit of angle. Just drilling the holes now to match. Just drilling the holes now to match the the handbrake itself and then also the bolt holes that are in the uh, in the existing chassis work and stuff and and get that mounted down so we're going to fire in riv nuts here to to bolt down the handbrake to the aluminium bracket that ethan's made uh, and this just makes life so much easier um, when you're assembling and disassembling stuff, especially when it's a fiddly thing uh, and you can't quite get in to get onto nuts and stuff, just makes things a bit easier. So Ethan's taking care of that. I'm just plumbing up the brake line um, for this, which was really easy actually. So I took the existing brake line off the master cylinder, um, which is at the end of the pedal under your feet, um, and put that to the out um on the on the master cylinder of the hydraulic handbrake and then that meant i just needed to make up one hose to go from the original master cylinder to the hydraulic handbrake um, so that was really easy it just meant that we we're not making up a bunch of different custom hoses um, there was literally just one to do um, and got that sussed out pretty quick ethan's just tightening up the handbrake now and we're going to get these uh, bled off. We're just dealing with some some leaks here, as you can see. So we're just trying to nail that down. Kept topping up the fluid to make sure we're not sucking in air. And it's pretty straightforward. It's really, I mean, once we got it mounted, it was just a case of make up that one hose, deal with these leaks, and uh, and bleed it through really well. Which you definitely need two people to bleed it.
So just bleeding it off now, pumping the brake, the foot brake, and then pulling the hydraulic brake. It didn't take very long to do, and it was quite straightforward. Just to make sure you don't suck in any air and keep it topped up. So I'm happy, just giving it a quick test in the workshop. Um, basically just making sure that, that I've got um, no air in the system and that it is locking up the back brakes, which you can see there, it really was. From a couple of mile an hour, it's just uh, it's stopping the car just on that rear. And then outside, give it a bit of a test, a bit of a hoon, grab that brake and it pulls. It worked really well actually, quite pleased with it. it we were stopping the car early and it was doing what it needed to do. Thanks for watching guys, we got it fitted, we're dying to test it now, um, we've got to put the rest of the car back together, hit the subscribe button and uh, check us out in the next video.